Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will discuss how can we dynamically add new option in select to select box by using Ajax with PHP script. Select to is a jQuery plugin which give us customizable select box with features like searching or filtering option data, tagging, remote data set, infinite scrolling and many other feature which we can use in our web application. But now we want to add new option to select to select box dynamically. That means when we have add new option, then that option will be stored in database. So when it is required in future then at that time, we do not want to add again. So here we have one category select box and in that select box has been filled with dynamic data, which has been stored in MySQL table. And on this select box, we have used select to plugin for searching or tagging feature. Now when at the time of form filling, we require to add new category, then at that time, from that select box, we can add new category. So these things, we will learn under this video tutorial. Now let's start discussing this topic. So this is our category table with two column like category ID and category name, we will fetch data from this table and fill category select box with this data. This is our working area. First we have open index.php file and under this file, we have already load jQuery library, bootstrap 4 library and select 2 plugin library. Under this file, first we have make select box, so here we have write select tag, with name is equal to category, id is equal to category and class is equal to bootstrap form control, form control large, and select to plugin select to class. Now we want to fill this select box with data, so first we have go to database connection.php file, and here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new do class with three argument. In first argument, we have write mysql host is equal to local host, database name is equal to testing, user name set to root, and password set to blank. So this code will make database connection. Next, we have go to index.php file. And here we have write include statement with database connection.php file. This statement will make database connection on this page. Below this, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from category table, order by category name in ascending order. This query will fetch data from category table. After this, we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar connect variable with query method and under this we have write dollar query variable this method will execute above query and return query execution result which has been stored in dollar result variable now we have go to select box and here we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable by using this loop it will fetch data from dollar result variable under this loop we have write echo statement with option tag with value is equal to dollar row category name and in option text we have write dollar row category name this code will fill select box with category table data Friends, here we can see when page has been load, then on web page, we can see that select box, with category table data, now on this select box, we want to initialize select to plugin. So we have go to jQuery code part, and here we have write dollar with select box class, select to, with select to method, this method will initialize select to plugin on select box. Under this method, we have write placeholder option, and under this option, 
we have right select category, so this option will displaying this placeholder value. In second option, we have right theme, and here we have right bootstrap 4, so it will use bootstrap 4 library theme. And for allow to add new option in select to select box, here we have right tags option, which has been set to true. This option will allow to add dynamic option to select box. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page, here we can see select to plugin has been initialized, and under this select box, we can see searching option. Now we want to add new option, which will be stored in database also. So on index page, here in jQuery code part, we have write dot on method, and under this, we have write select to double colon close, with callback function, so when select box will be close, then it will execute this function. Under this function, we have write element variable is equal to, dollar this, so here we have store search area whole block, under this element variable. Below this, we have write, new category variable is equal to, dollar dot trim function, and under this, we have write element dot value method, this method will return text, which we have write in search text box. Now we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write new category variable value is not equal to blank, this condition, will check, this variable has some value, if this variable has some value, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have start write ajax request, so in ajax request first option, we have write url, which has been set to add.php, so it will send request to add to php file. In second option, we have write method, and here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, under this option, we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write category name as data has been sent to server. After this, we have write success callback function, this function will be called, if ajax request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server, which we can access from this data variable. Under this function, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write data variable value is equal to yes, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write element dot append method, and under this, we have write open and close option tag, and between this, we have write new category variable. So this method will append new category in select box. After this, we have write value method, and under this, we have write new category variable, so this method will select last added category, and it will display that category as selected option. So here our jQuery code is ready, now we have go to add.php file, and here we have write include statement, with database connection.php file, so it will make database connection on this file. After making database connection, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function with dollar post category name variable, if this variable value is set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, first we want to remove special character from dollar post category name variable, so here we have write dollar category name variable is equal to, preg replace function, with two argument. In first argument, we have write regular expression for remove special character, and in second argument, we have write dollar post category name variable value, so this code will remove all special character from dollar post category name variable value, and store clean text in dollar category name variable. 
After this, we have write dollar data variable is equal to array, with key like double colon category name, and in value, we have write dollar category name variable, so here we have store new category data, in dollar data variable in array format. Next, we want to check new category already exist in category table or not, so for this, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from category table where category name is equal to double colon category name. Below this, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable. This method will prepare statement for execution. After this, for execute above query. We have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this we have write dollar data variable this method will execute above query. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with row count method is equal to zero. This condition will check row count method return zero or not if it returns zero. Then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into category table with table column like category name and in values we have write double colon category name. This query will insert new category in category table. After this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable this method will prepare query for execution next for execute query we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this we have write dollar data variable this method will execute query and insert new category in category table Lastly we want to send response to Ajax request, so here we have write echo statement, with yes, so this text will be sent to Ajax, so only unique category will be insert into MySQL table, so here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page, after refresh of web page, here we can see select to jQuery plugin select box. So we have click on select box, so here we can see search filter in select box, now we want to select computer category, but here we cannot find any computer category. Now we want to add computer category, so we have simply type computer in search text box, and press enter after press enter here we can see computer category has been selected. That means computer category has been added in category table. Now we have refresh web page. So after refresh of web page, here in select box, we can see computer category. That means computer category has been dynamically added in category table. Same way we want to select food category. So here we can food category is not found. So we have type food in search text box and press enter. So here we can see food category has been selected. And now we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page, here in select box we can see food category. That means this category has been stored in category table. And from that table, we have display data under this select box. So friends, in this video tutorial, we have learned how to add option dynamically in select to select box by using Ajax with PHP script. So by this feature, we do not want to manage category data separately. We can directly add category from same form without going to another web page. Lastly, if you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial, you can ask your query in comment box. If you have liked this video, Please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. And lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for future video tutorials.